Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I keep getting asked time and time again on the comment section on the YouTube videos that I upload on this channel is, do I train whilst I'm in a fasted state or after I've eaten one meal a day? And what I have to say to that is, I always train in a fasted state. I'm never gonna train after I've eaten my one meal because I eat around three to 4,000 calories. It takes quite a while to digest. And by the end of the day when I'm eating food, I wanna be relaxing and winding down so yeah when i embarked on my one meal journey what i will say is i was very concerned about training in a fasted state because i've hardly done this in the past i've done it with some cycling and some high intensity interval training with cycling but never calisthenics at all and prior to one meal a day i was doing intermittent fasting for around a year fasting anywhere from 16 to 20 hours a day and eating two meals a day and what i'd always do is break the fast with my smoothie which would be a fruit smoothie with some raw vegan protein powder and some, some superfoods and supplements. And then yeah, I would go and train after that one hour period once my body has digested, well had digested the smoothie fully. But yeah, I could train really well, but I noticed that a lot of the time after that first meal in the afternoon and then going training, I would feel quite sluggish. But then I swapped to one meal a day and I was like, well, I'm gonna have to train in a fasted state. So yeah, I was concerned around this, but as soon as I started doing it, I was like, wow, I feel so much more energy, I'm recovering quicker, I can train harder, and so many other different benefits as well. So I got around that mental block that I had within my mind, which is really good. And yeah, the reason why I had concern around it is so many people out there that say you should be making sure that you're having a pre-workout meal and a post-workout meal as well and yeah there's so many people that i talk to that are concerned around this but yeah as i found from my own experimentation there's nothing to be concerned about at all and yeah when i mention to people i train in a fasted state they ask me how long afterwards do i then go and eat and it depends what time i train within the day because i don't train every single day at the same time and yeah, what I say is I don't train every single day, I train every two days. So depending on when I finish training, depends how long I'm gonna be waiting for after my training session to eat. So it could be anywhere from around one to two hours or anywhere up to six hours. I preferably, if I can, like to train at around 12 to 2 p.m. in the afternoon. And then I normally eat anywhere from 5.30 to 7 p.m at night and I would actually prefer to not eat for at least four to six hours after training and there's very good reason behind this and you can look up the scientific research up online if you want to find out about this but when you train in a fasted state for example you are multiplying the effects of the human growth hormone production that is occurring while it's in a fasted state, which is shown to be produced by about 1,300% in females and anywhere up to around 2,000% in men with intermittent fasting, and testosterone levels by about 130% in women and anywhere from 200 to 400% in men. It's also shown to massively lower insulin and improve insulin sensitivity as well. And when you then combine it with training, those benefits are increased even more. So you get more human growth hormone production, more testosterone production, your insulin drops even lower, insulin sensitivity improves even more, and you burn more body fat as well while you're in that fasted state with training. So that is one of the reasons why I always train in fasted state and I feel naturally drawn to do it. It gives me the best workouts possible and helps me recover as quickly as possible as I mentioned earlier. And it's also shown through scientific research by waiting for at least four hours or so afterwards, you are making the benefits that I've just mentioned last for a lot longer period. Because as soon as you eat, insulin starts to rise, human growth hormone starts to drop, and so does testosterone. So as we know, so many people in the bodybuilding and fitness movement take things such as human growth hormone injections, testosterone or steroids, and insulin to maximize muscle growth, increase their strength, their recovery time and reduce water weight and also body fat percentage at the same time. And all these different benefits will stop you losing muscle mass. You do not need to be concerned about this because so many people are concerned about this and it's just a lot of misinformation put out there and myths by companies 
such as protein supplement companies that say you need to eat around 30 minutes after you've trained, otherwise you will start to lose muscle mass. So yeah, you don't need to believe them all because it is a complete load of misinformation as shown through so much scientific research that's out there. And it makes sense that the body does these amazing natural things whilst in a fasted state and doing exercise. Because if you think in our natural habitat, we didn't have access to food all the time. We'd go out, we'd look for food, and sometimes there'd be predators that come after us that we'd have to run away, and then we would escape or get eaten one or the other. But if we escaped, then we'd then go, oh quick, we need to eat food 30 minutes afterwards, otherwise we're gonna start losing muscle mass and get a whole host of negative benefits. Like, no, it's not gonna do that at all. So the body is very, very clever and smart. So allow it to do what it needs to do. And yeah, you are saving yourself a lot of money and getting no negative unwanted side effects, unlike if you're taking those specific pharmaceuticals that I mentioned a lot of bodybuilders take that have a whole host of negative effects, long-term and short-term on your mental and physical health. And they also decrease your maximum lifespan as well. So you really want to be avoiding them at all costs and doing things such as fasting and training more specifically combined together to get those amazing benefits naturally. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think would love to learn about why I always train in a fasted state with one meal a day and the benefits that they can gain from actually doing this on a regular basis like I do to maximize my muscle growth specifically and also reduce my body fat percentage at the same time and if you haven't already click that subscribe button down below if you'd like to receive a lot more one meal a day informational videos to me on a regular basis intermittent fasting informational videos what I eat in a day videos on my one meal a day journey on a whole foods plant-based vegan diet calisthenics workout videos and many other videos also to help you just go in the direction of achieving and sustaining the body that you desire the energy levels and the fitness levels as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those games. Peace.